the Parallelogram Knit Stitch Pattern. Hello, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. This is an easy level project, great for beginners because we are using only knits and pearls. The parallelogram shape has opposite sides, both parallel and equal in length, creating beautiful symmetry. As a result, the diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other with congruent triangle shapes. So it looks like intersecting chevron shapes are emerging and it is a reversible pattern. That means that both the front, the right, and the back, the wrong sides of our work are identical and it looks great for scarves especially. Oh, and I wanna show you how nicely the design looks when you lightly block it. So this is the little swatch that I'm knitting up later in this video and it has not been blocked. And let's compare it to this um, larger piece that I've knitted and blocked. And you can see how beautifully the yarn drapes, the design just falls into place, and the piece has a really nice finished look. This is a 16 row repeat, so you will definitely want to get those written instructions. The parallelogram stitch is one of 50 knit stitch patterns that are included in my new book. So I have a printed version that is currently available to people in the United States. There also is an ebook version. It's a digital PDF download and all 50 patterns are in there. Additionally, if you hop over to my website totally for free, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and there is a knitting pattern card. You just hit print and you can print the pattern directly so you have a nice printed version as you knit this up. I'll have the links to the pattern book as well as my website for the free printable pattern in the description. And all of these patterns include the written instructions, both knitting flat on straight needles, as well as knitting in the round on circular needles, if you would like to do that with this pattern. And that chart, the visual knitting chart is included for you also. Sometimes that's a really great alternative for your materials. You can use any yarn and appropriately size knitting needles. I'm using size seven here. Um, you'll also wanna have scissors and a tapestry needle on hand. So let's knit it up. To begin, we are casting on, I am going to use the method with no slip knot that I recently posted. And we are casting on in multiples of 12, that's 12 stitches. This is the long tail cast on method. I'll have all the techniques linked below. So once you have 12 stitches on your needle, you can continue to add more stitches to your needle in multiples of 12. So for this example, I'm going to do two multiples of 12. So I'm adding 12 more for a total of 24 for this little knitted swatch. Row one. So you'll see the asterisks there. That means we're repeating between the asterisks. So we start with one knit. K1 means you just knit one time. And then we bring our yarn to the front because we're purling, P5. We are doing the purl stitch five times. So this is two right here. Three, four, five, <laughs> and five. And then on row one, we will be bringing our yarn to the back, put it right in between those needles, and we are knitting five stitches. And I'll be sharing the, um, the first 12 stitches on every row. We have 16 rows, uh, so you can just sit back and watch, um, or you can 
come back, refer to this when you are actually knitting it up yourself. And here is the last stitch. It's just a P1. So we have knitted 12 stitches total and we have 12 more to go. You just repeat that exact same pattern all the way down the row until all of your multiples of 12 are knitted up. So now we have row two and we begin with K2, that is knit two. And then we'll bring our yarn to the front to P4. P4 is purling four, that is four purl stitches. Now we can bring our yarn to the back for four knit stitches. And lastly, we bring our yarn to the front again to finish up this multiple of 12 with two purl stitches. Purling once and then twice. Okay, row two, you just continue repeating that series down the row. And row three, this is nice and easy. Let me get that little yarn tail out of the way. Okay, we are knitting three stitches and purling three stitches. So this is six stitches. We're repeating between those asterisks. So we are going to be doing all 12 in K3, P3, and then again, K3, P3. Continue this all the way down your row. Row four, we're beginning with knitting four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then we bring our yarn to the front and we are purling two stitches. Bring our yarn to the back and we are knitting two stitches. All right, finishing up this multiple of 12 by purling four stitches. And I really like doing patterns like this that have really neat designs. All you have to do is follow the pattern and then a really cool design will emerge in our parallelogram knit stitch pattern. So row five, we're beginning with five knit stitches, two, three, four and five and then one purl stitch and then you want to pay attention we just have one knit stitch right here and then we're finishing up with five purl stitches p5 purling five so that's two three four and five. All right, continue that for the multiples of 12 that you have remaining on your needle. And oh, this is great. So rows six, seven, and eight are identical. So the multiple of 12 is K6, P6. So we are knitting six stitches and purling six stitches and repeating this pattern of 12 stitches, not only all the way down row six here, but then we are going to do the exact same pattern, K6, P6, knitting six, purling six, for rows seven and eight. And instead of having you sit here and watch me do those two rows, we're going to skip ahead to row nine. And here is how our pattern is shaping up. We're halfway through, really pretty. Now row nine, we're starting with the pearls this time. So you'll wanna make sure you have that yarn in the front for that very first pearl one, P1 stitch. And then we are continuing on with K5, that is knitting five stitches. Okay, let's bring our yarn in the middle of our needles to the front 
so that we can purl five stitches and scooch our yarn down our needles there. So we're purling two, three, <laughs> four, and five. And then just finishing up this multiple of 12 with knit one, K1 is knit one. And you know the drill. You just continue this multiple of 12 all the way down your row. Now row 10, again, you have that yarn in the front because you're beginning with a purl stitch. And I'm having a little bit of trouble with this one. Okay, um, purling two stitches to begin row 10, bringing our yarn to the back. And then it's K4, so we're knitting four stitches. Two, three, and four. Okay, let's bring that yarn to the front for the P4, that's purling four stitches. Three and four. And then we will bring our yarn to the back to finish up row 10 here with two knit stitches. Knit one and knit two. Repeat this pattern all the way down the row for all of your multiples of 12. And row 11 is another of those easy ones where it's just P3 we're starting with purling this time. P3 and then K3 and that's knitting three. And this series of six stitches just continues to repeat all the way down the row. Okay, row 12, again, we're beginning purling, so our yarn's in the front, and we are purling four stitches. One, and two, three, and up. <laughs> okay, and then we have two knit stitches, K2. So we are knitting once, and knitting twice. Bring our yarn in between the needles to the front, and we have two purl stitches, one and two. And then four knit stitches, K4, one, two, up, three, and four. Okay, we are in the home stretch now, everybody. Let's see how it's shaping up. Oh, it's looking really good. The design is definitely emerging. Those like chevron shapes, those diagonals, the parallelograms, all kinds of awesome geometry going on here. And row 13, we're purling five stitches. So of course you always wanna begin with your yarn in the front when you have the purling to begin your row. And we have one knit stitch, and then we have just one purl stitch. So we just bring our yarn to the front, purl that one stitch right there, bring it to the back, and we are knitting five stitches here on row 13. So let's finish this up, and we will repeat this pattern between the asterisks until you complete all multiples of 12 on your needle. Okay, here's another one of those fun ones where we're doing the exact same thing for three rows. And we're beginning with purling P6, purling six stitches, and we then continue by purling, nope, and then we knit six stitches. <laughs> and we are going to do this P6, K6, not only on row 14, but we do the exact same pattern on row 15 and row 16. Of course, you have your written instructions. I also have that knitting chart you can refer to if you enjoy reading knitting charts. And once you have finished row 16, you are done with those 16 rows. And you just repeat starting again on row one and continue knitting your piece until it is the length that you desire. And here is how it looks on the right side, the front of our work. 
if we turn it around, it looks virtually identical on the wrong side, the back side of our work. So I think this is just a really great pattern for scarves, one color scarves, as well as blankets where you can see both sides of your piece and you can see that the shapes and the different textures, it's just a really great complex looking pattern, but we're only using knits and pearls. So thank you so much for watching. I'm very excited to share my new knit stitch pattern book with everybody this season. I hope you check it out. I will see you here next time, guys. Bye.